Okay guys, welcome back to another Tech News episode, episode 13. Uh, before we start, um, I'd just like to say thank you. We reached 100 subs finally. It's all thanks to you guys, so yeah, appreciate it. Uh, let's start off with Sony and China getting in a 1 million yen fight, basically. So what they did is... Uh, Sony, uh, what happened is they launched a camera on a day, on the day that is historically associated with the start of the Sino-Japanese war and they sued them because it's like a, con um, what do you call it, a, a bad day in China's history. So they were like, uh, we don't want a product to be launched on this day because it like like it's a good product being launched on a bad day and stuff like that and um Sony was fined 1 million yen by the Chinese government for damaging the dignity of the Chinese state at least that's what they said um yeah so it was the 84th anniversary of the Jap Japan's invasion of China that would start the Sino-Japanese war. Okay, so yeah, Sony and China are in a fight this week. Uh, and Xiaomi has made some big announcements. So they've set, so they've redone their logo from this to this, or the other way around. I'm not entirely sure. But the interesting thing is, it, Xiaomi announced its entrance into the electric car race and said it plans to invest $10 billion into the business over the ten, next 10 years, which means a billion a year is going to go from Xiaomi into electric cars. Uh, electric cars is definitely turning into a bit of a war sort of thing. And like there's so much competition and it's it's insane. It's also very interesting. That's why you see a lot of uh electric car stuff on Tech News here. So Samsung Galaxy S twenty one F E. So So the S twenty one is the fan F E is a fan edition. So it's saying it's gonna have a triple eight, uh, hundred and twenty hertz and Potentially cheaper than last year's 699. So they've got these colors they've got black, blue, aqua, pink, and pink. That is a very bright pink. I don't know about that one. The aqua looks nice, so does the blue and the black. So saying it would launch alongside the Samsung S22. And yeah, the rumor designs. This green actually doesn't look too bad either. You can see they've basically just got the S20, the standard S21, and just taken a bunch of stuff out to make the price cheaper. That's what they did last year as well. There's a GIF to show us more. Yeah, there's not much there. Elon Musk, being him, he did a 9,000 person party at the new Berlin Tesla factory. I don't think that's the smartest idea in the middle of a pandemic, but anyway. So he actually did say that he was going to do that, but then people was like, oh, he's joking and stuff. There's a, there was a lot of social media influencers that posted uh, things who were invited. Like this, whoever she is, said, uh, Today's recap, one drove a Tesla Model Y, saw Elon Musk live, got into Giga Berlin, and now there's an open air with Tesla. So, yeah. Sounds quite interesting. 
again with the Tesla rivals. Hyundai's Tesla rival sells out in two hours. So Hyundai recently made the Ionic 5 and okay this isn't worldwide I'm pretty sure this is so yeah it's just in Australia they sold out all their stock in Australia in two hours flat now for an electric car that is um that that that's really good performance and shows that people are willing to buy it I think a lot of people are um held back from getting Teslas because of the shape it's not a very um normal shape it's more rounded and stuff there's not many like clean edges and everything everything's rounded like from the from the glass to the rear to the front of it everything's rounded and the grill there's no grill so yeah Tesla Model Y so Elon Musk shares jaw-dropping video of its best design feature. Now it's not very jaw-dropping because it's an every Tesla and that's the massive roof, the massive roof on top. Yeah, it's not very interesting, but he said it's jaw-dropping, so yeah. Okay, now, so with the Semi, the Tesla Semi, because it's a much bigger battery, it also needs to be able to charge at double or triple the speed or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. But it's for the cars it's called supercharger and for the semi it's gonna be called the mega charger. Now they're making this at the Gigafactory. They're putting mega chargers in place at the Gigafactory in Nevada and is they're also getting it from Nevada to Fremont, wherever the hell that is. I'm not that good with USA geography, I don't know where the hell they are. And um, this guy called Sawyer Merritt has put on Twitter these pictures of um, the building uh, process for the Mega Charger. I will have that linked down below if you want to go and check it out on Twitter. Uh, Lexus. So Lexus finally unveiled their new... LX570 replacement so it's, there's two models there's the 600 and the 500D petrol and diesel but there's no hybrid which is a bit unfortunate because they take up a lot of fuel and hybrid is just that one bit of that, that it helps with consumption the fuel consumption and stuff so there's also the F Sport. Now this is like, so the 300 series has the GR Sport, and this one has the F Sport. It's just basically a GR Sport in a Lexus skin. Uh, they've also on. Okay, let's take a look at these pictures. So the interior. Uh, just bear with me for a moment. Okay, so the new interior is a lot more modernized. There's more screen and less buttons. But for 2021, there's still a fair few buttons. Like normally there's nothing there. It's just a massive Tesla screen or something. Uh, in the back, there's three screens for one for everyone. So rear entertainment system is a big win if you're looking for that boot space is massive the f sport there now the on the back the backlight it got run there's one single bar across the whole back of the car uh on the 300 series i believe there isn't um Anyway, just take a look at the size of that grill. It's like half the bloody car. It's just a grill. Yeah. I personally do like it. I don't know about comparing it to the old one. I, 
I haven't seen this in real life, maybe it will change, but at the moment I'm not, I'm 50-50, I don't know if I like the old one or the new one better, but it still, it looks good. So Xiaomi 12 series, potentially set to debut with 5 axis stabilization. Now I can't read Chinese, so I don't know what the hell that says, but it's clearly talking about 5 axis stabilization, so so what it's going to do is it's going to do move the lens back and forth left to right then it's also going to move the sensor back and forth left to right and it's also going to turn the sensor I believe I'm not 100% sure but from the image it does look like that because you can see the turny thing left to right left back and forward back and forward left to right yeah five axis stabilization on a phone now that's pretty insane it shows that tech is just getting further and further in minutes at least that's what it seems um i'm gonna end it here thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one